and you answered the fans' most memorable General Hospital moment is, drum roll please, Luke and Laura's wedding. What a shot, right? Anyway, thank you all so much, everybody. Thank you all so much for being here to celebrate 50 years of GH and to see more of Jeannie, Tony, Ken, Jason, Finola, Kelly, Jack, Rick, and their castmates. Just tune in to SoapNet for their General Hospital 50-hour marathon oh. starting tomorrow night. Get your popcorn and wine ready. <laughs> April 5th at 10 p.m. And I'm hosting General Hospital, The Real Soap Dish, for 2020 this Saturday, April 6th. You can see General Hospital, of course, every weekday. Check your local listings and make sure to watch my April 16th star turn on the show. <laughs> heavy air quotes. And for more behind-the-scenes footage from my set visit, you can go to katiecurric.com. And before we go, I I don't mean to be presumptuous, Jack, but a lot of people have demanded a retake of our previous scene. So. Wow. I think we got to move into a little bit of Clark Gable. Our friends at People Magazine created a special thank you very much, Kelly. 50th anniversary collector's issue, and everyone in our audience is going home today with a copy. Thank you so much. Thank you, all of you. It's great having you. Thank you so much. And once again, to play us off, here's Rick Springfield. Jesse is a friend. Yeah, I know he's been a good friend of mine. But lately, something changed. It ain't hard to define. Just has got himself a girl, and I want to make her mine. She's watching him with those eyes, and she's loving him with that body. I just know it. And he's holding her in his arms late, late at night. You know, I wish that I had just his girl. I wish that I had just his girl. I love my girl, sing I. Jesse's girl. I wish that I had.